Hello and welcome to Scrap Saturdays. I hope you're all doing well. Kind of jumping right into this layout, I had already prepared my title with some thickers and I'm using the other side of the previous layout that we just watched. So I guess this is some craft market paper. <laughs> I didn't even know what paper I was using before, but I promise you I'm getting better. I'm practicing writing everything down, but these first few layouts I did not. So kind of going a little bit back to my roots of when I used to do voiceovers and I used to have my little printed out chart that I got the idea from uh, Mercy Tira. So Tracy's very helpful. It's not hers. I didn't print out hers. I know she's got one on her blog that you can print out if that makes it easier. I kind of just winged it and made my own up on my computer. So um, yeah, a lot of things have changed. It's funny. So I have to like enter or I'd like to modify it before I print out another batch of those um, sheets and forms that I do put all the supplies that I use. There are things that I do use now that I didn't really use before and you know it's fun. It's all a part of scrapbooking and growing and changing and just realizing that you know a couple of years ago where you were at and where you're kind of headed now so in that sense it's always fun to look back on something just as simple as that little chart that I had made and you know what I would want to write down now that would you know pertain to the layouts that I'm making so this one's a little bit of a risque photo I'm putting myself out there you know I normally do not wear bikinis um, I only wear bikinis when I'm out in the tropics where I believe you know only very random people <laughs> will, will look at me so it's kind of my brave photo I considered not putting this video up or not putting myself out there but you know what this is this is me this is what I look like and you know it's not a perfect bikini body but it's good enough for what I do and it's funny I look at the picture and I see my strong shoulders and I see so much of myself that I am very proud of so it is what it is people and uh, I'm just you know layering as usual using up some of the leftover pieces of paper some triangular shapes there that I had done on previous layouts and I just like the color combination and again going for my central focus here on the page as you saw me just bring in some border punches and border strips to cover up the branding strip and my title is underwater mama because you've heard me call my daughter sugar bear and I'm mama bear at home and you know part of doing YouTube videos if I can continue on the same kind of topic here is we get to know each other and we get to understand you know what it is that we do and say towards each other and our family members and so yeah my daughter is sugar bear one and my son is sugar bear two but sometimes he's you know my handsome little baby boy um, sugar bear one gets upset if I call him my sugar bear two and then they start fighting over who's the best sugar bear <laughs> And there is no best, right? It's just different. It's the same kind of love, but it's a different relationship, obviously, with both your children. But the love is unanimous. And so that's what I titled this, Underwater Mama. Yeah, like a motorcycle mama. <laughs> you take it whatever way you want to take it. But that's what came to my mind, and that's what I put down. And so usually this is what I... I did I kind of put on the scuba diving gear just so that I could use my underwater camera underwater and so in turn I think I either passed it over to my husband or maybe my daughter and she took this picture of me attempting to you know hold my breath and get underwater as much as I could so that it would be a funky photo for myself and you know what I love it I think it looks awesome brought in some more of that tissue paper that we get with our hip kit and it seems to be the most perfect color of blue and shade of blue that I wanted and I'm also using up that tag that I really like and it's got the rosebud or the flower buds there on the side and I think again that's also perfect because the paper is so busy and active and it's okay I like that I like that busyness it, it it's a Monica pleaser you know that and here I'm layering a flare badge that says Hey World and it's on top of a, a Scraptastic exclusive tag that I, or a cut apart tag that I cut out and I'm going to use that wood veneer flower bunch at the top corner as well and then the bottom left corner that we're looking at so the bottom left from your eye now it's got that plus the 
plus symbol there. And that's again from the same as that seahorse. It's a Scraptastic exclusive. And I'm really enjoying, and you're going to hear me say this a lot over the next few videos, but I'm really enjoying that most of my kits are so fluid. Like they just, between Scraptastic and hip kits, they go together so well that I don't feel confused by having to use them. I mean, it's a choice of whether I can afford to keep having them because of cost, but not because of being able to use them on whatever I'm doing so far. Honestly, there everybody seems to be on the same page and my layouts come together seamlessly, which I absolutely love because it's just more and more and more to play with. So I'm just adding some washi tape that has that deep blue and turquoise and hot pink and it just kind of anchors everything down with a little bit of blue and again it's another signature you know thing that I always do with my washi tape if I do decide to use it I just love to use it on two corners of my photo so a lot of things that you see me do is just basically you know tried tested and true which no harm no foul right you know how I say if it works for you then go ahead and do it and so I did put the title right underneath my photo and I love that the words were pretty much the same size and it, it figured, I figured that it was going to look the best down there and it's a neutral enough color that it kind of brings in that yellowy border that I put off to the side. And I finally used up that last camera sticker off the Summer Vibes sticker sheet and I didn't know what I was saving it for but here we go. <laughs> Perfect little enamel dots. I love them. I, I just, I love the baby ones and they just bring in a little touch of bubbles just like the photos got. And so, I'm not sure. I think I wanted to use that hello and bring some words towards the side, but then I said, no, nope, I don't want to do that because the border strip itself was the only calmness that I had left on this layout because of the, how busy it already was. I just wanted that focus towards the blue in the center and the photo and that strip on the side kind of was my grounding if I could say. But I think I do come in in the end and do a little bit of date stamping on that edge there and put down uh, but I used, I think it was my American or no, my Amy Tangerine date stamp on the side. And here I'm using some, I think it's Heidi Swap. It's the hashtag. So hashtag happy day and the be amazing. And the way I had placed it on my stamp block, it perfectly stamped for all good luck. <laughs> Sometimes things don't work out, but that stamp did work out at the bottom on those tags, and I really like it. I love using the Prima Teal Damask Chalk Ink. It is phenomenal, and that's the same color that I used right there where you saw me doing the Amy Tangerine date stamp, and I just thought little touches like that really finish off my projects and my layouts. I think I'm going to be digging into some poolside ephemera into that little package and try to see if there's anything else that I could tuck in, and that's what you see me doing there in that same blue tone. So that one says Swim Team 5A. And yeah. This is how quick it was. I know I had already had a, a head start, so you didn't see me choose my papers or anything like that. But hopefully you're liking a little bit faster style and just the voiceovers. Right now, you know, we grow and change, and this is what we decide to do. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that amongst anything else that you're totally and absolutely inspired to create a layout. And today, mostly that you're inspired to put up a photo of yourself, not on YouTube, but on your layouts or in your album. I didn't mean to say put up, but use a photo of yourself and embrace and look at the beauty of what you bring to your layouts as well. So thank you so much for watching. Great big hugs to all of you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. I hope you have fun.